Welcome back to the Operations Centre here in Pretoria in Tswane and joining me now is uh, one of the clever people that f behind this application that you've been seeing during the course of the day and uh, I'm joined now by uh, Bukosi uh, Marivate. Thanks so much indeed for joining us. You're with the CSIR and you've come up with this app, app uh, the CSIR Social Media Trends Dashboard. What does it tell us and then we'll start looking at uh, what's in there. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, we worked on this to mostly try to gather kind of the thoughts of what's happening in the public, mm. uh, not really in general, but the ones that are on Twitter and who, yeah. do, who do tweet on there. And uh, what it's actually doing is just doing some analysis of some of this data that mm. people are tweeting about. And we can keep track of the major political parties. We're tracking about 20 parties at the moment and a couple of hashtags. Uh, yeah. All right. Give us some idea of uh, some of the stories that this thing is telling us. Yeah. So at the moment here, we're showing the last four hours yeah. uh, or what the top hashtags were and they've been changing so you've had like SA elections 2019 throughout yeah. the day uh, being the main one but as time has gone on you've seen uh, either people when they actually were yeah. sharing uh, their thumbs yes. and they say now I voted <laughs> uh, a couple of like maybe two hours ago there was a uh, just after the IEC briefing yeah. uh, there was a lot of activity that went around the IEC scanners right. and now the, this question of what could be done to prevent fraud at voting stations and then some of them are tongue-in-cheek uh, that are actually <laughs> on there like <laughs> what happens if DA wins um, those type of okay yeah. so what else can we find out from these things um, yeah so we can look at a, a couple of other things so one we can look at uh, which uh, 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 sorry, uh, which yeah. accounts were mentioned uh, throughout the day the most? Okay, so these are the actual Twitter accounts themselves. So yeah. Julius Malema is there. Is Ju Julius Malema is there. Uh, I see uh, also is, uh, is up there. And mostly because they've been fielding a lot of questions yeah. today and trying to deal with this information. Right? Okay. There's been pe people uh, going and saying, hey, here's one thing and here's another one. And then having a slight like you know coming having to come back oh yeah i don't know <laughs> it's, having it's to come changing, back, yeah. yeah having to come back and then highlight and say like no 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 that's actually not yeah. true this is what or these are the things that you do right. if you see this type of okay. thing happening at, uh, at at a voting station i, I can move uh, all right yeah what I, else yeah I okay can move this on. is an interesting one isn't yeah it, isn't it? so we can also then look at the volume of the tweets that are happening uh, almost every 10 minutes through uh, uh, for uh, the last 12 hours and you can actually see some things so green there's the ANC the EFL yeah. is in red and the GA yeah, so is in 11 o'clock yeah. something was happening this, the spike to the ANC could that have been the president voting or yeah, something? Yeah we suspect that that's when the, the president was voting and there was a lot of activity that, that was connected yeah. to our president uh, and, yeah. and then the general trend towards 8 o'clock now is that it's slowing down activity I suppose people are now they've voted they're tired now yeah. they're waiting yeah uh, so what you'll see is that it's kind of like uh, we're anticipating the yeah. closing of the uh, of the voting station yeah. so that could be uh, one that uh, could create another spike and also at the same time likely when the first results actually start coming in all right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Very uh, interesting. Yeah. Okay, so I suppose tomorrow, yeah. what's going to be interesting is once the results starts coming through, uh, these are going to start to shift. Yeah. Questions are going to be raised. Yeah. Uh, people are going to be raising victory signs, uh, predicting victories and so on and so forth. Yeah. But thanks so, so much indeed for joining us and uh, sharing your thoughts with us today. And uh, I look forward to uh, seeing this map and uh, also your model in terms of the predictions as uh, the results start uh, trickling in. Yeah. Thanks so much indeed for your time. Thank you, Peter. All right. We're at the Results Operations Centre here in Pretoria in Suwane. We're going to take a quick break and lots more to come. Stay with us as we continue to give you rolling coverage, 24 hours of it right here on the SABC News Channel and all of our other platforms, radio as well as digital. Make a connection on our websites and also our app if you want to keep up to date what's happening with the SA Elections 2019. We do not just speak. We let every voice in our nation find full expression in language and in culture. We do not just teach. We empower all people with education. We do not just bring you the news. We place you where the news is happening.